So I'm trying to play with some modules for the Raspberry Pi. And I got from a kit from Freenove, F-R-E-E-N-O-V-E. -E -E. They have a kit with a bunch of different modules. And this one is the ult ultrasonic distance module, the HC SR04. And we have an infrared module. And the infrared module is like this. And I see them in different kits from different vendors. And uh, there's no name on this, just the one doesn't even have a partner. So this is the ultrasonic. It has a transmit receive at 40 kilohertz. I didn't test that, but I have. Uh, all it needs is 5 volt power, VCCs, 5 volts, ground, and it has a trigger in, which is a 5 volt, and then an echo out, which is the uh, logic output. And looking on the screen here, I can zoom in. It's interesting that here's the trigger, and uh, it triggers on the falling edge, so that it's I've got a normal sweep. So this the trigger pulls this data sheet. I think said uh, 100. Something like 80 milliseconds minimum repetition rate, but I, I went down to 50 milliseconds and it's still triggering. But the width of the trigger is not important, it's just uh, 10 microseconds or greater. And then here's the uh, echo out signal, which is 5 volt signal. And so the falling edge of the trigger starts the echo signal and I'm guessing that's when the signal is sent out so here's the response time is this is 500 microsecond per division so it takes roughly 400 microseconds to send out the signal and then the minimum time it can uh, respond is looks like about 500 microseconds so and it had a spec of I think a few inches to like I think it was 200 centimeters so you can't get super close. Uh, so this is the <coughs> minimum. So I've got the target right up in the face. And assuming 1134 feet per second for sound, that's roughly something like 800, 900 microseconds per foot. And so we're seeing uh, 300 microseconds there for this is about two or three inches and then I, I increase by a few inches and it goes up by a few hundred microseconds so it would be roughly a, something like 100 microseconds per inch if you work out 1134 feet per second at uh, sea level and 70 degrees C <laughs> and now you can see that if I'm moving the target and it does respond fairly smoothly if you have a nice flat target but if you were using this signal as a control signal you'd have to allow for like, getting off target and it just goes to max so they do some filtering like median filtering or do some smart processing, <clears throat> but uh, it does seem to, and plus it's not super fast, I mean you're, you're at a rep rate of 100 milliseconds, so your control would be at like 10 hertz or something. So here if we zoom back out, this is what it looks like at a 
So here's my uh, function generator on the top. It's sending out uh, every 150 milliseconds, it sends out a, a 10 millisecond pulse. And I get, here's the minimum signal sort of goes away when I'm, my hand is right in front of it here. And then I take my hand off and point it at the ceiling. And the signal comes back. Or it's picking up. Anyway. So I'm not sure what the code is to handle the signal in the Raspberry Pi. But I was just curious to see um, what it looked like on the scope. Because the data sheet wasn't too clear. There's a target I'm using, just a flat. And you can see if these probes get in the way, then it starts picking that up. So you got to have a clear opening on the face. And do some smart filtering in the software. Otherwise, very simple to use. Well, 